12 o'clock at night, five long hours journey with my homework, I was totally exhausted and sleepy. Did I have too much homework to do? No, it was because I was distracted by electrical devices. While I was studying, my friends commented on my post on Facebook, posted on their words, and sent me messages. I could not hold my pencil in my hand anymore. I was too busy to tap notifications on Facebook, and these things took longer time to finish my homework. How many of you were in a similar situation like I was? I think almost everyone in this room would raise their hands. There are a good part about using smartphones and tablet pieces, but there are also many bad problems about to us. Nowadays, too much use of electrical devices is becoming one of the serious problems, and I strongly agree with uh, I strongly agree with that we, that especially teenagers, have to reduce the use of smartphones or other electrical devices. First of all, I think that we have to reduce the use of smartphone and because it can affect our work and education negative way. When I was in Korea, I went to the library to study with my friends. More than half of the teenagers there were fiddling with their smartphones, and I was very shocked. Why do you go to the library? Well, I think that the library is a place to people to study and work quietly. Because more than half of the teenagers there were fiddling with their smartphones, I was highly distra distracted and couldn't finish my homework as I expected. Like other teenagers, I also started to sink into smartphone. I think many of you have done these things like I did before and saw so what I observed in library. Also, when my friends go back to their house, they don't start their homework they start, they look at their smartphone. Teenagers' job is to study, and like I saw in the library, smartphones are becoming an issue for a lot of teenagers, and it is becoming worse and more serious. One of the reasons why smartphones were in, invented was to invent help, helpful tools for studying, and it is usually actually a good tool for me to study. However, I saw many people spending time with smartphones without working or studying, including myself. According to the government data, more than 80% of South Koreans aged 12 to 90 on smartphones in 2012, doubled to 2011. And nearly 20% of teenagers were addicted to smartphones even though the teenagers saw not using the smartphones in the right rate, they don't realize that they are in trouble and cannot, cannot get out from the smartphone worse. They need to reduce the use of smartphones and other electrical devices because if they don't in the future, most of the teenagers will just waste their time on the smartphone instead of studying or working. Secondly, I think people should reduce the uses of smartphones and, uh, and other electrical devices because cyberbullying is increasing since many pe people are using electrical devices for a long time and it became easier to use electrical devices. Electronic devices like smartphones are very handy so many people tend to use internet more than they did before. If people use internet for a long time, and because internet can hide people's identity, people easily say things that they would have hard time to say in real life. And it is much easier for cyberbullying to start. The long-term impact of the cyberbullying is greater than with traditional bullying. Because of the development of technologies, inappropriate photos, videos, and rumors are much easier to spread. According to the research done by Scott Meach in 2006, 
to 80% of 12 to 14 year old American students have experienced cyberbullying. The information was from 2006, but smartphones didn't even exist at this time. I expect that now cyberbullying takes a large part now since had since technologies had developed so much. You can tell that cyberbullying is a really serious problem because according to what Valerie Lovin say, long-term emotional and mental effects of cyberbullying are often more harmful than traditional bullying. They got affection such as suffering in silence because they are too intimidated or fearful about telling someone suicide attempts or other forms of self-harm such as cutting and racial bulimia using alcohol or drugs. And they feel anxious, depression, isolation, panic disorder, and sleep difficulties. Personally, I can really connect with this problem. If I'm a person who got bullied online, I would be afraid to talk to people and think that I don't want to live anywhere. Every day would be hell for me and it would be really hard to hard for me to meet other people. Change the position and think I would be really harmful it would be really harmful and fearful if someone bullied you. <coughs> the people who are bullying must know that they are giving the deepest hurt which they can never forget. I truly think that there should be no cyber bullying and in order to reduce that should reduce the uses of smartphones and other electrical devices. Lastly, I think that persons should reduce the uses of smartphones because it is harmful for our bodies and can make us unhealthy. If you use electrical devices, electromagnetic waves and radiations come out. The World Health Organization does consider cell phone radiation to be possible personalizing to humans. To that extension, extent, electromagnetic waves and radiations from smartphones can, can make you personalizing, which is very terrifying. This is not at all. The health article said, when we are really focusing on the smartphone inside a smart screen, our eyes have to work harder and harder to read more things and need more power. And this actually makes our sight worse. Brandon Wick said three quarters, three quarters of iPhone using students surveyed in 2010 say they sleep with a phone in bed. And he, ha and he added, according to a recent study in Nature, this might be bad news for our shut eye, considering a cell phone's LED light could disrupt melatonin production making it harder to feel asleep. Some teenagers spend a lot of time to play games on the smartphone and chatting. Do you understand how these things cause our body unhealthy? We have to protect our, our, our own body ourselves. Then the one of the way you can protect can be reduce the uses of smartphone. As discussed by Brian Axton, who is the author of Always On, how the how the iPhone allowed to do anything and the technology writer. Now smartphones allow us to communicate with people easily, learn new things, and use applications that makes our life better. And when it comes to learning new things, smartphones make it much easier to find answers of any questions and any time and anywhere. I also agree with the, his discussion, though this may be true, but teenagers are using it lots of times for improper ways. They play too much games on the smartphones, too much chatting, and do something damage to someone. Furthermore, parents are struggling with their children to reduce the uses of smartphones. Our technologies are developing and our world is smart, smarter than before. Therefore, we, find, we fall into the smartphone swamp and spend lots of time there. We, teenagers, are the people who will grow up and create and develop a new world in the future. Maybe our parents are also expecting us to find and learn more things and contribute or open it 
to the world to make the world better. Now, this is our turn. We should change. Smartphones make us be addicted and distract our attention to unable to concentrate on our studies. Smartphones may serve bullying happen more fun, fr frequently. Smartphones make our body be attracted by bad influences. Let's help my brain get out from the smartphone rush and make my exhausted and sleepy journey time shorter. If I want to make it, then I have to try to reduce my time to spend with smartphone or other electrical devices. If we reduce the uses of smartphones, we would be able to see our world widely than just seeing the small screen of our smartphones, using it for a proper time with proper ways, and don't waste our time to do unnecess unnecessary things, it would be much better.